Hi everyone! In today's video, we will show you how to create and edit blinds in Archan XP. My name is Katalin. I will be asking the most common questions on this topic. We have here Anika with us. Hello, Anika. She will be answering these questions and demonstrating everything in Archan XP. So let's get started. Anika, what do we need to know about this project? Hi there. For this project, I have chosen a family house. Uh, to show you the types of blinds we can place in Archline XP. Uh, the first one is a double rod curtain with a sheer curtain. The next one is a vertical blind. The third one will be a Roman blind. And our last, last uh, object will be a Venetian blind. So how can we create those blinds? First, uh, let's uh, delete the existing blinds, uh, so we can start from the beginning. Then uh, in the interior tab, I'll choose uh, soft fur furnishing and on the pop-up uh, window, I'll check the place by opening checkbox. Uh, it's very useful because it uh, automatically adjusts uh, the measurements of uh, the blinds to the window. Uh, yeah, I will choose curtain and I will choose this window. Uh, on this first uh, tab, uh, we see the measurements of the curtain. Uh, on the second one, uh, we can see the pleats retraction. And uh, on the third one, uh, we see the, mm, the rod. Here I will uh, I will choose the double rod and I will place it uh, with OK. We have now placed this element and uh, any modifications can be available on the dashboard. And uh, since the uh, result is uh, immediately visible, it is uh, easier and faster to work this way. Um, what modifications can we make to this curtain? First, I want to place the bottom of the curtain two centimeters uh, above the floor. So I have to check the measurements of the floor. Here I can see that the base elevation is uh, minus 40 centimeters and its height is uh, 20 centimeters. So the top of the floor is at uh, minus 20 centimeters. Uh, now I know that uh, I have to uh, write Mm, minus uh, 18 centimeters uh, for the base elevation uh, to have two centimeters here. I uh, will also modify the height to 2.6 meters and uh, I want to make uh, uh, the curtain a little bit uh, wider. Uh, let's make this 2.4 meters. What's next? So now we know that uh, our curtain is uh, currently six centimeters uh, thick. So it is uh, advisable to place the second curtain uh, at least six centimeters uh, in front of it. Got it. So how do we create the next curtain? The next curtain will be a blackout curtain. So the simplest way to uh, do this is to copy the existing curtain. I will choose move a copy and from this point I will move it uh, with 7 centimeters which is uh, the thickness of, uh, uh, of the curtain plus uh, 1 centimeter so that they uh, mm, don't uh, overlap and uh, I will make the changes in the properties dialog. Uh, here we can see uh, its uh, measurements. I will choose uh, this uh, material for the blackout curtain. I will uh, reduce the pleats a little bit. I will set the retraction to zero. And uh, I will uh, open it so we can uh, see through the window. And uh, I will uh, also uh, I, I won't also uh, use a palmet uh, because uh, we will use the existing one uh, that we placed uh, on the first curtain. 
I will uh, click on OK and uh, here we see the result. That looks great. What goes on the next window? On the next window we will place a vertical blind that we see here and I will delete it. So uh, on the interior tab I will choose soft furnishing and uh, vertical blind. I will choose this window and uh, I will place it with OK and I will uh, uh, change its measurements uh, in on the dashboard. So uh, I uh, want to be want it to be a little bit uh, longer. So I will change uh, the base elevation to minus five centimeters. Uh, I want it to be a little bit higher. So I change the height to uh, 2.35 centimeters. Uh, and now we see that uh, its top is at the top of the curtain. Uh, I also want it to be wider, so I'll make it uh, 2.4 meters wide. Um, also, we have a strip rotation here, which is uh, very important uh, for the view. And uh, I will also change uh, the retraction so we can see outside the window. So I like the result. Um, let's move on. What's next? On the next window, uh, we will place a Roman blind. Here we can see the result, which I will uh, delete. And uh, clicking on the soft furnishing, I will choose the Roman blind and this window. And uh, here we can see that uh, its properties are, are a little bit uh, different. For example, we can change the number of splitters and uh, also the retraction and uh, the detail level. And uh, I will place it with OK. And uh, we can see that uh, it, uh, it isn't uh, on the right place uh, because uh, it's in line with the wall. So uh, I will uh, show it on the floor plan how to uh, move this away from the uh, wall. I will move it with 10 centimeters. And uh, now we can see that uh, it's in the right place. I will uh, also change its measurements. For example, I want to want it to be uh, wider with five centimeters on uh, both sides. So I will change its width to 2.11 meters. Uh, I also want it to be 10 centimeters above the window. So I will change it to 1.4 meters. I also want to change the material of the blind. We can uh, um, select, for example, a textile. I will uh, choose this one. And here we have our Roman blind. Only one blind left. Which one is that? At last, I will place a Venetian blind on the balcony door. So first uh, I will delete it, uh, then I will choose the soft furnishing and the vanishing blind. Here we see that uh, um, it has uh, important properties like strip rotation and retraction, which we will uh, modify later. But now I will place it uh, on uh, the door and uh, we can see that uh, its placement is uh, bad right now, so we have to move it a little bit. On the floor plan, I will move it inwards with five centimeters first, and let's see the result. Um, it's not right um, because it clashes with the handle. Yes, you're right. So I will move it inwards with another seven centimeters let's see how it looks now okay now it's correct yes it is uh, now i want to change its uh, height i want i want it to be as high as the ceiling 
So uh, I will write uh, 2.7 meters here. I will also want to be want it to be wider. Mm -hmm. So I will change it to 2.2 meters. And uh, now let's look at if it uh, clashes with the door if we uh, open it entirely. I will uh, open this door and we see that uh, it doesn't uh, clash with the door. I will change this to zero and uh, I will also show that we can see through it if uh, the strip uh, rotation is on 15. So we finished our blinds and let's see all the blinds we created in this video. Okay, so first uh, we created uh, a blackout uh, mm, curtain with a shear curtain on a double rod. On the next window we created a vertical blind. On the third window we placed the Roman blind. And at last we uh, created a Venetian blind on the balcony door. Okay, thank you Eniko for showing us those features. And now we are at the end of our video. Um, we wish you all good work with ArtShine XP. Bye. Goodbye.